Hello readers, this is James Fowler and I'm Nicholas Christakis and we are the authors of Connected, the surprising power of our social networks and how they shape our lives. One of the major things that our book attempts to do is to show the way in which a lot of things that people think of as being very individualistic, like their tastes in clothes or who they vote for or, or their body size or, or even their emotions, people might think, oh, whether I'm happy or not depends on my own decisions and actions and choices. We're able to show that all of those things depend not just on the decisions and actions and choices of individuals, but on the decisions and actions and choices of large groups of people. That how I feel, what I want, depends on what those around me feel and want and what those around them feel and want, and even what those around those individuals feel and want. We talk about the economy. We've been through a, a tough time this last year, and in part it's because things that happen economically can spread from person to person and from firm to firm throughout these financial networks. We talk about politics. We talk about the fact that, that politicians are embedded in, in networks where they influence one another, and even voters, everyday citizens, um, they have a lot more power than they realize because their behavior influences dozens and sometimes hundreds of other people many of whom they might not, never have met. And what we really try to do in this book is bring the science to everyday life to help people understand exactly uh, uh, what they can learn from this amazing new and powerful science of social networks. So just for example, in our research, we've found that if your friend's friend's friend becomes obese, it increases the likelihood that you'll be obese. If your friend's friend's friend quits smoking, then it will also have an impact on whether or not you're going to quit smoking. In our ancient past, if you were trying to hunt a mastodon, you would prefer to be individual A, where all your friends know each other because you could all get together to hunt together to hunt the mastodon with greater success. On the other hand, if you were trying to find a mastodon, in this individual, uh, all his friends would all know each other. They'd all have the same information. Do you know where the Mastodon is? No. Do you know everyone would be pointing to each other? <laughs> but for individual B, in fact, it'd be much more likely that one of his friends would have access to information from other individuals further away in the network about where, let's say, the Mastodon might be. And learning about this in, in our book, I think, is, 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 is one way that I think people will be able to take control over their own lives and really, for the first time, see themselves in a web of social connections that spread far beyond the people that they see every day.